there is no evidence that reconstituting, firing all the teachers and hiring all new teachers will make a difference in the education of in the, in the education of a child going to that very same school. What we have is playing with numbers. And we don't want to play with numbers, we want actual results. When in December, Mr. Cortinez shows up with bodyguards and uh, calls an emergency faculty meeting and um, and just lays it out there. He's like, you know what? Tomorrow, there's going to be an article in the LA Times um, about you being fired. It's true. You are going to get fired. Um, Fremont's getting reconstituted. And then he just bounces. He just leaves. Uh, to this day, I know that we haven't received not even something in writing informing us that the school will be closing, that the staff is being fired. Okay, if you announce to the media that you are involving parents, how are you selecting these parents if I, as a parent, haven't even been informed of what's going on? It's kind of like at, at Fremont. Teachers slowly became aware of what was going on, but the students were never, ever really brought into this until the very end. Our principal tells us to our face during a meeting, I don't understand why you're showing up. None of your decisions are going to be binding for next year. One of the big things that the rich and powerful are trying to do right now is they're trying to divide students and teachers, yes. specifically because it's so hard to get health care these days and it's so hard to get a pension these days. I think that we need to realize that while there's a lot of finger pointing going on, ultimately the overarching problem is the, the unwillingness to tax the rich and fully fund our schools. Uh, one of the things that we've been um, struggling with at, at Fremont is their non-compliance with theater everything. curriculum everything. and everything else. If we're all horrible teachers, why are you asking us to reapply for our own jobs? Um, that, it just didn't make sense. Um, it's kind of like it, it's being in an abusive relationship. One moment you're being battered and the next moment you're being told that you're loved. I seriously believe that right now it's three months, tomorrow it'll be all of our schools. We are not going to reapply for the positions that we're getting fired from. Uh, as an act of resistance, we are not going to go ahead and, and give validity to, to this unjust, um, opaque uh, <laughs> process that's going on. There are several high schools in LA that are continuously having lower test scores than free. We were, we were selected for a reason, and so we need to figure out what that reason is, and we need to take it to a district that South Central, whether we're Latino, whether we're African American, we will not be trampled on time and time again. Like, basta ya. Like, enough is enough.